Alright, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel, and I said I wasn't going to do as many gaming videos on this channel, which still is true. I'm still going to try and mostly keep this an IRL channel, but I want to talk about something because I want to A, warn people about something. Who knows, maybe this is a glitch, maybe this is a bug, maybe I just went about doing something wrong. I don't really know what happened, but I also want to talk about this to see if like anybody else has had a similar issue or a similar occurrence. So, for those of you that don't know, I'm a big fan of Adobe products and Adobe software. I use Lightroom and I use Photoshop almost pretty much religiously. I use them at least once a week, if not more. And for those of you that know me, I like doing photography. I like doing video work. I like doing photo editing. I use Photoshop for like all my YouTube thumbnails and things like that. So I will continue to use their products because basically more or less be fucked if I didn't have them. So Photoshop and Lightroom is here to stay forever because I essentially need them. I use them too much to get rid of them. I, I basically need them. But anyways, with that being said, one of the softwares that I used to have a while ago is called Adobe Premiere Pro. Now, for those of you that might not know what that is, that is a video editing software that Adobe has. It's really, really high tech, really, really advanced software, which is nothing wrong with that because doing crazy cool editing shit is awesome, but it's a little bit overkill for the type of video work that I do and the stuff that I need. So about a month and a half ago, I decided to get rid of it because I didn't use it anymore, didn't want to use it anymore, was never going to use it ever again. I use Sony Vegas Pro in case you're wondering it's much more user friendly it's much faster it's much easier to do the type of video work that i do so i use sony vegas so about a month and a half ago, I decided to cancel my Adobe Premiere Pro CC subscription because like I said, I wasn't going to use it anymore. So I canceled it. I got the email confirmation saying that it canceled and I will no longer be billed for further payments and plans and whatnot. So fast forward to October 12th, I get a notification on my phone that pops up from PayPal because that's what I use for all my Adobe stuff. I use PayPal. So I get a notification pops up on my phone from PayPal says you've been charged with Adobe premiere pro plan blah 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 whatever and i was like why is this happening i canceled this about a month and a half ago and it said that it will no longer be billing me for further payments and plants it said it was done that's it no more so i looked it up on my phone and i see that i indeed for some reason still had the premiere pro plan even though i canceled it and i was indeed built for it which i don't know why it was so i went on their website now for those of you that have never gone on adobe's website or anything when you go to look at your plans there's always an option on your plans and here's my lightroom cc plan with one terabyte this is what it looks like and on the right you can see that it says cancel plan or change plan now a month and a half ago when I went on the website to do this with Adobe Premiere Pro, I had the cancel plan and the change plan option and I did indeed hit cancel plan. But when I went on there yesterday, it said I still had the plan. But if you look, there is no option to change the plan and there is no option to cancel the plan. I don't know what happened there. I don't know if that's a bug with their website or if I did something wrong or if something just happened that wasn't supposed to happen. But I legitimately wasn't able to cancel the plan on their website. So what I ended up having to do the next morning is get in contact with Adobe's software support. And I had to like explain to them my situation and go through all the details and talk to them about what happened and why I wanted to get canceled why I wasn't going to use it anymore things like that now I don't know why this happened I don't know why I had to do this because this seems totally unnecessary to me but I don't know if this is a normal thing but it's not really the way that I would have liked it to happen you know, I would have liked the first cancellation to be legit and to have worked and to not have been billed so I did dispute the billing claim on PayPal so I don't know whether I'm going to get my money back or not I mean I really don't care I guess but at the same time I kind of do just for the sheer fact that I wasn't supposed to be built for it anyway but anyways when i was going through the whole tech support thing talking to adobe they tried to like get me to stay on with them and like is there anything we can offer you to keep you on our plan is there anything we could do to like add it they tried like giving me like three months free of all the programs and then like half off on like some other plan for all the programs and th they tried essentially keeping me interested i was like no i don't want any of those i'm not interested i just want to cancel this plan just be done with it so i go on my account now it 
does say it is indeed canceled nowhere on their website or my account page does it say that i still have the adobe premiere plan so i have no reason as of now to believe that any further payments for premiere pro should come out of my account i don't think that it'll happen anymore if it does i'll have to get in contact with adobe again and further explain the situation that's going on but yeah let me know if you guys have had any run-ins with adobe or if any of you have had a similar situation like this if you did let me know in the comments below i'd like to hear about about your story and what happened. I don't want to say it's really bad because in all reality I really didn't care but it was just kind of one of those inconvenient things that I just kind of see and deem unnecessary so yeah let me know what your thoughts on this are let me know if you've had any run-ins with Adobe like this and and yeah that's the video I'll catch you guys in the next one this has been Austin Isworski see you